Hello, everyone. Uh, we are looking at points of interest today. My name is uh, Dr. Sulaiman Afalabi. So there's a number of things that we'll be looking at, and they are basically categorized into two. One is the theoretical aspect. The other one is the practical aspect. So on that theory, we're going to look at the definition of point of interest, sources of point of interest data, use cases of point of interest uh, data, how to access point of interest data. So under the, the practical aspect, we look at the prerequisites. When we get there to Jupyter Notebook, you will learn more about that. Uh, how do we do place search? So when it comes to place search, we are talking about geocoding and the opposite, which is extracting location details from geocoding, which is reverse geocoding. How to access point of interest data. So this is the practical one. So let's start with the number one definition of point of interest. Point of interest generally refers to geographical locations or areas on this our planet called Earth that of appeal, that of interest to the public. And this includes the shops, the parks, the fuel station or petrol station, the restaurant, the museum, places of worship, uh, police station, hospital, hotel, stadium and the like. And the list is, uh, it goes on and on. So the second one is, we know that this um, information that we can derive, they are very valuable, but how do we source them? Let's look at the sources. Number one is on-site visits. Maybe you, you want information from certain area, maybe the number of ATMs bringing up and you can't get it. You can just take your car or hire some people that will go with handheld devices like your cell phone, GPS uh, to collect the data. The media platform is also a useful uh, place. Government databases. It is assumed that governments for many years will have been collecting this data for planning. So you can also access the government the geocoding services. So this is the one that will be making use of. There's a number of geocoding company that provide uh, this kind of service so we see how we can assess the way we get to the practical session use cases of point of interest the number one here is telecom service provision for example in order to determine the quantity and capacity of telecom equipment to put at a point of interest for example a stadium, a soccer stadium, a rugby stadium where thousands or in their tens, in their hundreds, hundreds will be gathering. So you need the kind of equipment to cater for for the number of people that will be visiting such a uh, place. So knowing that that place is a point of interest is advantageous in planning. Accident analysis to perform analysis in order to investigate roles that are prone to accident and take proactive measures. Government can be involved in doing this. To plan the transport of people from a place of interest, uh, it may be doing it at a specific period of time, maybe for um, festival, maybe for religious pilgrimage, and uh, in order to avoid traffic, congestion, and accident, it will be useful. Uh, another one is real estate marketing. So you want to calculate um, the distance of uh, property for sale and places of interest in the vicinity of that property. So, so by having that information, you will be able to market the the uh the place better okay so that is for for example there's a company called property 24 that uh they are into real estate they make use of this 
Uh, for example, now that's a property for sale. Let's actually go to the website. Mm, there's internet connection here. Property 24. Let's see how they use point of interest. For example, I want to search for Johannesburg for property for sale. Johannesburg Houting. I'm interested in houses. Okay, so there's a number of them here. Okay, let me scroll to this one. This one looks beautiful. All right. So I click on it to get additional information. If I scroll down, you see there's something on point of interest. Where is it? Here. This place. If you click, it's telling me that the food entertainment is just less than one kilometer. Nando's, it, I think it's a fast food restaurant. Pizza, all these restaurants, they are, you can see the range. So these are points of interest for some people who want to buy food. So with the aid of point of reader, you can be able to ge generate, calculate the distance to them automatically. Look at education as well. When you want to move to a house and you are a family person, you have a number of children. One thing that will be paramount in your mind is this place that I'm going, will I be able to find schools for my children? And what is the distance? Because you need to commute every day. All right. So schools too, they are valuable sports and leisure. So... Are you the type that is into golf playing? Is it a place that is, is it a golf estate out also? So you need clinic or hospital where you are, maybe when you or your children are sick or your spouse to take them to transport and public. It's also very important, most especially when you are not mobile, when you are not, you don't have a car that you are driving. So... Having this kind of information will be very uh, useful. Okay, I think we are done now with the theory. Uh, it's time to move uh, to the practical aspects of the course. Great. So we're going to uh, make use of Jupyter Notebook. So we're going to start uh, by creating a brand new file. So I'm going to name this point of interest. Let me name it class. All right. Okay, and I need to give it a title. So if you want to give title, you have to change it to Markdown because it's just more or less like a label. You can also use Edding too. Okay, uh, Jupyter Notebook, that's what we are using now. It's a very nice tool. It allows us to enter value, even put image to make our this thing to be nice. So I'm going to add this image of the of the cover. I need to change this one to markdown so that I can accept. Alright, this is the, the cover. So I've loaded it. For this to appear you need to request for the images. You need to put images. I've put the image the image this particular image in a folder called image. So that's why I'm seeing it. So the number one on our agenda, the step one, is to look at the prerequisites. So, and this entails the loading of the relevant packages. So we have about three packages to bring in. You will see them shortly. So we have Panda. Panda is basically for 
data management like you want to load your data you want to import your data you want to select a portion of your data uh geopy geocoder for geocoding and reverse geocoding so and we are using nominal team so later on in this course in this uh training in this presentation you will see others that you can link to nominal team actually belong to uh osm open street map over pi for searching point of interest and others so you know all those point of interest i've been talking about so that would be useful okay so this is the place where you call the api all right we are done with that one so i want to load image to show you the description as well all right so all those things that have been explaining the module just like i said panda is for data management analysis geopy allows you to do geocoding and reverse geocoding you will learn more about this term soon using the api of nominal team and perform other geospatial analytics over pi this allow us to search for features such as road and other amenities place of worship restaurants and the like okay now the question you will want to ask is that because i've been mentioning this time what is an api so that may be a question that is burning in your mind at, at the moment say, oh, this man has been talking about api what does it mean all right api is a set of procedure used by computer programs to access operating system services software library and other system so i want you to know that some of these apis they are free some are not free like this open street one that we are using is is free so the api acts as a kind of interface to their database you want to you want to get information from their database they have created a layer a secure layer for you to be able to access them and at times they don't want you to access everything at uh, at times so by sending a request you can get a chunk all right but even with the free one at times there's a limitation they have put they don't want people to abuse their service and to make too many requests so you will see that if you if you are requesting like for 50,000 uh, geolocation so OSM may, may throw you out let's see some of the uh, the list okay uh, so the the number one that wants us to look at is ArcGIS. There are quite many. All right. So ArcGIS, the code we use to run it, is similar to that one of Nominal Team. I'm sure many of you know. If you are the type that have been doing GIS, you will be conversant with ArcGIS. ArcGIS is one of the programs for doing GIS related uh, tasks. Uh, so it's not free. So, but the API, it allows us to access the data. Mm -hmm. All right, so you can see the same GeoPy that we are using, but unlike what we did here we're accessing nominating here is for the uh arc gis let's see the kind of data we can get i'm going to put my former address here i think it's seven or nine i can't recall the number but let me put my address here i'm going to test this we are in the practical session you can i swear follow me so I'm going to put the Jupyter notebook where you can find it later. All right. So so it's able to. I search for this address. 
you can see what it has given me now it's given me it has given me the exact address and in addition to that it's giving me the geo coordinate this is the latitude this is the longitude you know i just put in zane zebra glory and it was able to find uh, for me, Johannesburg. So if you are at your place of residence, you know your address and you don't know the coordinates, so you can use the same approach. For some other IP, I may not be able to give you the exact one because I tried that with Noma and uh, Nomenathim and it didn't work. But let's, let's see what um, Nomenathim will give us now on his copy from open street map all right so we are going to do exactly what we did here okay okay we're going to run this, but we are using Nominati uh, this time around. I'm saying it's not defined. We need to define it. Do look it up. Okay, let me put it like this. Alright, you can see the format of this one is quite different. But it's not giving me the exact number. It's giving me Johannesburg. It's, it's giving me the word number. It's giving me the city of Johannesburg, the, the name of the municipality. And uh, it's giving me the geo coordinates. I think they, they are exactly the same, but this one is more precise. So the longer the the digits, the the precise, the more precise the results is giving you the exact location. The the level of precision will be high with this one than with this one that has been rounded up. You can see this one is seven. So that means this one is not absolutely Correct. This one, uh, I think I can put my money on this one. All right. Yeah. So one thing about all these services is that they will have their strengths and their weaknesses. So, so you can just look at that in doing whatever you you want to do. So another one we can use is this uh, shining swan. It's called Beidou. They also provide this geolocation API. So let's try to run it. One thing about this one is that this one is not free. You require a key. This is where your key will be. It will come in in form of number. So I'm not going to run it, but you can try it because it's going to give me an error because I've not. I do to tell you. Okay, let me even run it. I just see the headers you can see. It will tell me I've not given it the right key. The service timeout. There's no even service in the first place. Alright, let me just keep it there for reference purpose. In case maybe you find they do useful or you find yourself in Chinese, in China rather, or you find yourself and your company has already subscribed to Beidou and you want to see how you can use it. Uh, that's how it's gonna be done. All right. So now, what I want to we have look at one, two, three. I want to show you the other list, the other geo uh, space, including this one that are available at your tips that you can use. You will see that they are quite uh, many. All right, so we have looked at our GIS. You can also use Azure. 
something from Azure, something from Bidu. We have looked at it. So these are Bing. Bing is from Microsoft. Azure is from Microsoft, as I think. You can see there are quite many. Open Map, Request, Photon, Open Cage, Big Points, Yandex, TomTom. TomTom is the popular GPS uh, manufacturer, live address. So just like I said, some of them are free, some are not free. Yeah. So your assignment in this case now is to be able to test all of them and see which one is free and which one is not free so that's what you are going to uh what you are going to do for me that is your uh assignment uh for now okay so i will encourage you to always do your assignments for those of you that have not been doing your assignment please do your assignment that is very important and that is non uh, negotiable each time I give assignment out I expect people to do it okay all right I want to show you the uh, the websites that you can go to to find uh, the code the correct code to use okay here is the website jupy is the documentation website so you will see all of them here so you can find the code that you can use in running them here as well all right just go to this website here okay I think we can continue. All right. Okay, so what is our next thing? Now let's go to the our number two major agenda. So we have said that we'll be looking at the we want to do please search. I know we have already done it, but let's just uh do a little revision and bring out our results we are doing this exactly the same thing we did upstairs there remember the address let me put the address here to avoid confusion okay and i'm going to run this again run this then the results So just like I said, we are basically revisiting what we did up there. Okay, let's see our results. Okay, here you go. All right, here's our results. So it's giving us the long one uh, this time around. You remember here we just say your code address. So, and uh, we're able to get something. So I'm asking it to give me the raw results, uh, which is more comprehensive. You can see it's giving me say it's around the highway and it's a residential area and it's giving me the banding box which will be very useful later on okay so note that this result when you are putting them you can this is this is a dictionary okay so we can actually call some of the values here Instead of having everything like this, I can actually say give me the this geocon the, the latitude here and this longitude here. So just to have something few, something I can work with. So I can also ask 
it will give me other information okay so we want to do reverse geocoding now so reverse geocoding is actually the opposite of what we did just now mm -hmm. and one thing i didn't mention here is that at times you can search for only black gallery for johannesburg but if they are johannesburg in other places you are going to have duplicate results so that's why you need to be specific with your with your search okay this is reverse geocoding way so what is the reverse geocoding we are trying to search for a place by just putting the uh the geo location and let's see what we are going to get all right you can see the results here it's telling me it's zan street but it's not giving me the number like the other the other one was giving me the exact address but this one is not been programmed to give me the exact address so let's do something interesting let's use the results of this one of uh, ArcGIS So, it's still giving me Sanskrit, it's not giving me the exact one. All right, but it's fine. At least I have the other option of using uh, ArcGIS. ArcGIS belongs to a company called S3, they are also into location uh, analytics and uh, at least they provide this one for free okay so now we are going to our main point of decision point of interest and before we continue there are certain terms that is being used here and i'm talking about node way and relation now we are going to start uh, with the first one what is the name of the first one is node so what does the node implies it's complaining about my syntax let me see what could be responsible for that uh, have wrapped it with some HTML tags and breaking the line this one is line break code okay so let me just put all of them at, at once so that it will not waste our time oh it's in code so that I change that. All right, the note the, the notes denotes a location in our world, a point on this planet called Earth, and is often represented by geo coordinates. That is latitude and jail. So this is a point now. So when we are talking about a node, a node it consists of a point. Okay, we denote an other list of node. So a way can have between two and two thousand nodes. It is depicts a poly line. So a line like this. Ways are often used to indicate linear feature on the map, such as highways, rivers, and roads. So when you are interested in those things, so all those lines, so go for waves. Relations is the like a universal set. This consists and other list of one or more code ways and other and on all relations as member which is used to define a logical or geographic relationship between 
other element in other words it shows the relationship between nodes ways and other so this one is more complicated that is like the universal set for all of them okay that's good so now the question you'll be asking me now is that when i want to use nodes all these points where can i get the information all right so from this website i will show you the website now it's called tagifo.openstreet.org uh, you can get information on the kind of node that you can use all right we'll take you there now let me display the the website within this jupyter notebook all right so this is how it looks like uh but let's go to the actual one since i have my browser open i can go navigate uh, like this okay all right so this is the key you see this provide you don't need to cram all the codes when we get to the practical the implementing this thing in python so you can see buildings the keys building highways name and the access all of them and you can see if i click here it gives me more information for example for highway if that is what i'm interested in see i can get additional information on highway uh in the values <laughs> and the values is you can see this one it go from 1 to 38 so it can tell me about the area is it a residential area is it a path is it a footway is it a track some of this information may not be available in your location for example you are living in an urban area so you are not expected to have a bush path so you are living in an urban area you are not expected to find track or dust road yeah so so don't be alarmed if some of these things you can't get them uh where you are staying yeah but it's some you will get so you have 38 pages of this one to go through raceway bridgeway motorway junction some of them will be relevant to to where you are staying and some may be may not be relevant so so even with the tax to you have information on the amenities let's look at the amenities what values are available all right the parking where you are staying does it have parking uh place of worship you remember when we are talking about the points of interest so place of worship in africa you have people of uh um practicing many religions uh, christianity islam those practice the traditional and a number of them restaurants amenity schools for where maybe where you can buy for a cafe fast food restaurants waste baskets parking space so you mean you need to view the data and you need to actually visit some of those points you can use google earth to actually see the places to be able to differentiate when it says parking what was it saying how does it differ, differ from parking space bicycle parking so that may not be available in some countries or in some cities in africa but you know you have maybe this one is talking about public toilets drinking water there are places where in the public area they provide drinking water you just go there just like in the university or in the high school where you can just go and drink water <laughs> without a cup hospital atm very relevant graveyard cemetery where there are very people i mean you may need, for what you are maybe your country the you they, they have a way of calling certain places you need to be able to trace that too so i will implore you to uh to study this and see for your own project maybe research project maybe your data analytics see which one you can 
Vitalize on to boost your mode. Okay, let's go back to our this thing that we have looked at this. So another interesting uh facility or uh, utility website I want to show you is uh, overpass to turbo. For those of you uh, that don't want to write code or the that I new to Python, not used to. You can actually use this website to get some of the information that you need. So the so <coughs> this website is called Overpass Turbo. I will show you. How it looks like let me load it within my uh, Jupyter notebook first so that when I'm sharing it so this is how it looks like I want to go to the actual website as well okay let me come here here you go it has brought me to a location and there's a set of code i don't know whether you can okay i'm zooming it so that you can see better let me zoom in more okay so you can see on your left hand side there's a banding box i was showing the banding box the other time so you say amenity drinking water so in this area how many places do they have that you can drink water okay let's run on this okay so you can see it has provided me with points so you see this uh, you see all this circle here and if i zoom in you i may find many of them you see these are the places maybe if i'm thirsty i mean at the city center i can quickly go you can see it's giving me the 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 longitude and the latitude I can actually start my Google Health to be able to see more information about this one that is providing me. So this is a way of confirming it. So, so you just see the data, <laughs> you don't need to take it at face value. So just cultivate the habit of confirming one or two, two and say, okay, I've confirmed now I'm safe uh, to progress. This is a good practice. All right. So I've brought out my Google Health. What do I want to do? That place of drinking. I want to see how it looks like. Okay. Time to search. Now I'm searching. It's going to take me there. That place looks like it's in. Okay. I don't know the place. But let's see. All right, so there's a place for drinking water here. Yeah. Interesting thing is that okay, I have sweet view. Okay, so this will take me to the oh, okay. I can say I can actually come to this place and drink water there. Okay, this is a good thing. <laughs> All right, so I'm sure if I come here. I'm not going to say I need water. Someone will come out to give me some water. Mm -hmm. You know, as much I'm not asking for the bottle water. But from the way I'm looking at it, it looks like a rural area. But well, it's fine. So, you can you see they have drinking uh, water there. So, the, uh, the question you may be asking is, uh, how do I change my box? Alright, you can just type the name of your area here let's type johannesburg to to change that uh bandy box okay now we are in johannesburg south africa do they have uh, uh places where you can run to for water let's search we are going to run this one okay mm, this one here yeah. This is the location. So what I'm doing to zoom down 
is to scroll up my mouse. You can also use this one as well. I'm using a, a mouse, I'm not using my keyboard. So it's telling me that in Johannesburg, but it looks like it's outside Johannesburg. It's not at the city center. Okay. Okay. All right, let me go to the, you see the way I'm zooming is, uh, let me search again. All right, there's another somewhere here in the city center. Okay. Well, you may be saying, why should I search for drinking water? Let's start search for something more relevant. So we can come here and edit what we have here. Oh, uh, we saw a number of them here under amenities. Let's go back to amenities again. Uh, where is the amenity one? Okay, amenities. Uh, okay. Let's go to values. Uh, no. uh, ATM. I saw ATM here. I know when you get to a country or a place, I don't have enough cash. You may be thinking about how do I access an ATM? I'm sure Johannesburg is a CBD. So there will be a ton of them, you see? Even some of them are very close, maybe from different companies. I know they are about, uh, is it four or five major banks in South Africa? FNB, APSA, Standard Bank, uh, Net Bank. And this, this other one, Capitec. So these are ATM. So, so the reason why you are having them in three three is not that there's a data problem. There's that tendency for them to to locate their ATM in the same area where the others have located this. Okay. So that's the ATM. Well, just like I did the other time, I can actually keep click on one. Oh, you see this one is it's not net bank it's net bank <laughs> see the mistake there but well, it's fine you will have an idea that it's a net bank so that's why the domain information this one is standard bank atm this one is net net bank this one is fmb okay so let's look at another area where we or oh, let's leave them alone and uh, Another thing you must note, that's why data science domain information is very important. You can find an ATM in a place in South Africa standing on its own without being close to a bank. But in some other countries, the most of the ATMs, they're actually inside the bank uh, location where the banks are actually located. All right, so let's see if we can search for banks. Oh, where are the banks, banks, banks do we have? Because you have so many lists going to Ted Bedit, you can actually come to this place and search as well. And this is a nice tool to explore. Yeah. I can't see any bank here. Is there a problem of spelling? It's not giving me anything. I don't know why. Okay, let me refresh this. I'm just going to try bank anyway. Maybe my list is omitting that. Maybe I'll be lucky. Okay, is it? Oh, it's a bank. You, you see, I didn't see it there, but it's, maybe it's the way I search. So this one is a net bank. <laughs> You can see it has got the name correctly. Okay. All right. Let me go to Nairobi. Nairobi now. So another thing is that you can go to your specific area. So that means this address I'm typing now. You can type maybe the name of your area. So if you stay in Blegari or Randberg, it's allow you. You can take that 
and say you see all these tools here you can zoom data you can <laughs> you can locate yourself as well i don't want to use this one i don't want you guys to to come to my house tomorrow and say hey, 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 hey. you now have your location so if i click on it, this now with my internet connection it will actually take me to where i'm staying yes or if you can't take me to 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 take me to where my data provider maybe the closest mass and you can actually select a banding box you see if if my area is in just this rivonia area i can select it and it will restrict my search to that area and you see you can export you can share your data mm -hmm. and this is also useful for the assignment that i've given to you on that property 24 i know some of you are already struggling okay now time to go to nairobi oh that's fast it has brought us to nairobi you see this one is just a shape file so does it have images so it doesn't complete let's search for banks in nairobi okay i'm going to run it okay where are the banks now uh i can't see any map supposed to show some run around uh i don't know what's going on bank in Nairobi. okay let me go for the atm atm can you come closer i want to visit you I don't know what is going on. Uh, is it that it's not covering? Oh, that is strange. Okay, let me go to Lagos. Uh, Lagos, Lagos, where are you? Since you can see there are other Lagos elsewhere, so you have to be careful so that I will not go and select Lagos in a place that you don't know. I need to do a serious zooming because it's giving me the entire legal states. But I can't see anything here. All right. Okay, so that's an assi assignment for you to investigate. I don't know what is going on here. Uh, all right, let me type the the place if i say broad streets Lagos. i know the there's a number of banks there okay let me search for bank now okay Nice zoom in. but it's not bringing those round round circle. I I don't know what seems to be. Oh, but there's one hospital here. Okay, let me just test for hospital. Uh, hospital. This is giving me information on that. Is no, it's not giving me a special. I don't know what is happening. But the data are on the map. So you don't need there's no cause for alarm. So where that's where the code becomes more useful. Let's go back to journeys back. Or maybe is there something wrong with the way I've been typing it, which I doubt. Johannes Bay, Johannes Bay, where are you where are you where? The Johannes oh, okay. Right, that's brought us back to your name. It's not a problem with the 
with the code is like there's a problem not to the place but rather there's a problem with the yeah okay let me go back to browse street now Lagos all right say for city again all right we'll look into that later our time is going all right so this is the place just play with it yeah so it's a nice way for you to just pick something out without writing long code okay okay so now we want to see how we can search using codes all right so this is how we do it you start by calling the api so here is the code you use don't worry i will share this my jupyter notebook with you so you don't need to cram all the codes so i'm going to register the banding box here so i'm actually using the banding box oh that's a uh, black gallery up there all right so i've entered you can see it here minus 26 i'm searching for a way you so i'm interested in the highway so that's why i'm doing that all right i want to uh get up my results so I'm, I'm telling it if it, if it doesn't have that this is what it should be the way is not why is it saying that okay let me run this name way is not defined outcome is not defined All right, let me copy this code again but this is the code that the sub that's supposed to do the magic okay name way is not defined I supposed to define it here. I've <laughs> replaced it in. It would have made me to sleep here today. Results ways. Okay, I'm getting something. So it's giving me Main Street, Alexander. I can actually count the number of ways. This is how you do it. Two fifty six. So it's giving me the main street, which is a so this is a highway. Is a touchard. Remember when we were here, we checked the highway and they stated this one is residential. All those values. So those are the values is outputting now. It's saying this one is in a residential area. And if you actually look at that place, it's telling us the truth. So some of all these places they actually exist. Okay. What do you so now your assignment is to see how you can use um nodes and how you can use the relation. Okay. So the the next one is how do you search for point of view? POI is another is the acronym for point of interest. How do you search using a geo coordinate radius? 
Now, you want to use a radius instead of actually using the entire thing. Maybe you have the geocoordinate of your house and you want to set the amenities that are in the next 100 meters. So this one we are setting for those ones that are in the next one uh, kilometer. Okay. So that is 1,100 is 100 meter. 1,000 is uh, a kilometer. Okay. I hope my mathematics is not rusty. So in the next 100 meter, one kilometer is giving me this. Okay. All right, I think this is where we are going to stop. Uh, you remember your assignment, the one I gave to you. Uh, let me go to where I'm supposed to go to base camp. All right, so this is what your assignment. Can you replicate similar information on or about your place of residence? For example, if this is your place of residence, I know many of you are not staying here. All right, so this is the description. I want to get information on the point of interest. Let me zoom it. Is this zoomable? No, it's not zooming. But I know you can see it. So you want to get in maybe three kilometer radius or five kilometer radius or whatever radius you want to use. The closest food and entertainment area, the education, the schools, primary schools, maybe university that are close to your house. I'm talking about where you are staying now. Sports and leisure health health center like clinics like hospital uh, surgeries then transportations so this is your assignment i can see someone has already attempted okay all right so many only one person has attempted we'll look at that later so that's all for as far as this uh, presentation is constant is concerned i thank you for joining me i will see you another time so make sure you subscribe to this channel and also give a thumbs up to to the presentation so that we have as, as a kind of encouragement for for me to post more and also the notification bell click on it so that when